All right. Well, there's been some discussion around town about this thing called a mat. What's a mat? You know, a mat tax. And uh, when we hear that word tax, we typically go, oh, now what? Right. Well, we wanted to do some clarification on just what that mat tax is all about. And I reached out to our friend Mark Karen, who's the executive director for Tourism Sarnia Lampton. And he's just been able to join us. I know he's a busy fellow. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hi, Dave. Not too bad. How about yourself? Pretty good. I know you're really busy, so I, I really appreciate you jumping on and taking the time to be here. Um, but I reached out to you because I I, I I believe that this is an important thing that's happening. Uh, but there seems to be some confusion about how it's going to work or why should it work. There's just a lot of questions around the mat tax. And I'm sure you've been getting bombarded with questions as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one, uh, I guess, municipal accommodation tax, it, it's really been something that's around since 2017. So it's it's obviously new to the Sarnia-Lampton area, but as a whole, other communities have been doing it for the last uh, few years. And even before that, there used to be a destination marketing uh, fee, which was voluntary, that most people associate with uh, Niagara Falls and right. structure. So, yeah, overall, um, the program of Matt, um, it's designed basically to support tourism and uh, different events, different marketing opportunities and strategies within within your region and have tourists, the ones that really are funding, funding these opportunities. So. Um, the original idea kind of came in, um, well, it, it's actually been going on in the States and in Europe for quite some time. I mean, they've had it in place for the last 30 years or so in a yeah. lot of places. But, um, you know, in Canada, Niagara Falls was one to say, how do we put on more entertainment and get more people to the falls? And they came in with this um, destination tax that was voluntary at the time. And in 2017, it went to... Ontario Legislative, and, and they made framework for the Municipal Act, and they've made it now where, um, you know, at the lower tier municipalities, so in Lambton County, that'd be between the 11 municipalities, can, can decide whether they want to create um, bylaws and opt in to, uh, to have this imposed for, uh, for any of the hotels and motels, and there's uh, really the framework from um, how everything's handled is, is laid out in this Municipal Act, and uh, made consistent so it's a playing a level playing field throughout the province right so obviously uh, like I said at the beginning of, of all of this you know we hear that word tax and uh, that's when people get their, uh, their their knickers in a knot or whatever you want to say about oh now another tax that our government wants to charge us but it, it's really been um, it's been successful though in other areas that you're talking about the other municipalities right like they're they're who, who's upset about this happening, though? There's there's obviously some of that happening. Yeah, I mean, overall, what I find is uh, once people understand it, they agree with it and are for it. Um, if there's no understanding around it, then that's where really the confusion comes in, because obviously the word tax, uh, no one likes to be taxed at the end of the day. Um, yeah. Really, this program, when I look at it as a whole, it's really more of a user based system. Um I don't see a whole lot of people that stay in Sarnia Lampton hotels that are from the city of Sarnia. Right. Um, at the end of the day, in looking at it, um, if we're going to compete with London and Windsor and really any bigger city in Ontario, when it comes to hosting events, whether those are, you know, smaller events, medium events, larger events, um, we need to have the funds to be able to do this and those funds equal economic revenue and economic impact and yeah. help business development. And I mean, quite frankly, they actually, by putting this in, we're going to be able to not charge our tax paying citizens in Lambton County to fund infrastructure that would need to be funded basically by taxpayers. So um, by putting this in, hopefully the tourism industry can support, um, the tourists paying for new infrastructure and improvements to infrastructure and really save save the tax burden from our local yeah. citizens. And then on top of that, from uh, from our tourism organization, it's our job to uh, really bring in new events and create new opportunities and work with existing partners as well on how we can grow things and attract more people to come see everything Sarnia Lampton has to offer. Yeah. And I guess in, in a roundabout way, you could look at it that uh, we're already paying this. Um, if we travel to another city, 
we're, we're already paying this like that. Those, those that are involved with it anyway. Right. So it's kind of a comes around, goes around kind of tax, isn't it? It is. And, and that's kind of how it's been described is, is really now um, I have to check exactly, but I know there's over 40 municipalities in Ontario that have this already in place. So anywhere we're, you know, on a whole traveling, I believe for the OHL, you look, there's, there's one or two OHL teams that, that don't have this in, but by example, I mean, that's a good, you know, grasp and scope of where this is, um, yeah. you know, to be, to be on that smaller scale, what's, what's happened in the industry is the, uh, the playing field has been raised because there's funds now from this mat to, uh, to really attract more events. So, we're either really far below the line if we don't have it and it's that much harder to attract things and make things, you know, really vibrant for Sarnia Lampton, or we do this and we raise to a level playing field and we're able to now compete and uh, really see the opportunities come our way for a change. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now I've had questions. Uh, so this gets split between a tourism section and a municipal section. Is that correct? It is, yeah. So the uh, the framework is different. Uh, most municipalities um, have actually been the, the lead on this. So um, it's it's funny how we're a little backwards here. That tourism has taken a lead uh, just because we see what you know what the opportunities are with yeah, tourism. Yeah, uh, good for you. Most places it's been municipally driven, uh, where councils have put this in on their own and been a non for profit tourism entity is the beneficiary of funding. Um, some places see the value in tourism to the uh, extent of saying we're going to give 70% or 80% to tourism and the rest on infrastructure. Um, commonly, I would say it's 50-50 split, and that's what, what we proposed as, as the equal split. Now, uh, the municipal framework is, is different. A, a place like Sudbury, for example, has already committed their portion of MAT revenues goes towards a new arena facility. Uh, okay. So there's different different ways that municipal governments can spend their tax dollar, their you know funds from that. Um, now, same with with uh, tourism entity. This is considered uh, supplementary funding. So with it being supplementary funding, we don't have it affect our original budget of what we work with. This is all okay. new funding that has to go towards marketing promotions events. So we can't yeah. think that this is, you know, this is all of a sudden going towards uh, moving to a new building or anything like that or hiring new people. It's not meant for any of those reasons and cannot be used as the municipal act states for those reasons. It's strictly for marketing, promotions, events, those, those uh, things right. that are going to drive tourism in your area. And there's a process in deciding where that goes and how we use that on marketing and what we're going to do with that. Right. It's not just one person says it's not a, this isn't a dictatorship going on here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we're working right now. So one of the unique things that a lot of people don't know what's happened is the hotels, when this was coming up for conversation for, for about the last 20 years or so, there's been the hotels trying to make a hotels association where the hotels actively work together in this community. Yeah. And that's really now brought that up and has uh, been the catalyst for creating this hotels association. This hotels association is, uh, has all the point Edward hotels um, with that going on first. They're all part of this hotels association, but being Sarnia Lampton, they are encouraging all the Sarnia Lampton hotels, whether it be Sarnia or Lampton Shores or St. Clair or anywhere throughout the county to be part of this. And they want to actively take a, uh, a role in saying, hey, we're, we're you know, making these funds. Can we advise on where these funds are being spent? Uh, myself, I see this as a great position because if uh, instead of us as tourism Sarnia Lampton going to a municipality to say, can we spend the funds on? whatever that infrastructure development project is. Now we have the hotels association that we can also work with them and say, Hey, what do you guys think? Can we both go and be two voices that are going to a municipality? And then that's same with our organization. Uh, we're hoping that uh, between this hotels association with our board of directors as well, that we can make basically an advisory committee for the spending of uh, municipal accommodation tax revenues 
And what we'll do really is vet uh, different applicants and different, you know, ideas that we have on <clears throat> spending these funds, put them through this advisory committee and then make a final decision, which uh, in most cases will be a board decision on our end on uh, if we go through with uh, with those events or not. Right. So to understand then too little further, somebody asked me a, a question I wrote down. So can our municipal government on the, on, on their side of it, can they, they can use this to, uh, fix some roads or what, how, how does that work? So for sure, tourism infrastructure is a, uh, kind of a loose term, but in most cases, uh, they want it used for something that's actually going to create uh, right. the opportunity for people to come. So okay. how it's, how it's been left is, uh, that we will assist as tourism, Sarnia Lambton and assist with different ideas and different, uh, I'm just trying to think how to kind of word it properly, but we yeah, yeah. this with uh, how those, you know, those funds recommending what they be spent on. So um, same thing. And I mean, that's, that's the public as well. If, if there's tourism infrastructure ideas, uh, we're all for having the conversation of where should, you know, where should those things be spent and how do we, you know, it, it, it's not necessarily one group or one organization, but the nice thing here is we get to work with lots of different groups and organizations and really say, hey, what are some tourism ideas that we can bring to this area? Uh, we saw what Tall Ships did this summer. It was a great yeah. boost to our, uh, to our local economy. And uh, we need to continue things that are going to make the whole county more vibrant and, uh, attract more people to the area, not only to come down for events, but to hopefully want to live here and reside here and, and grow the population. And a lot of that starts with tourism. Yeah, well, that's it. And that's the long term uh, vision side of all of that. I like that you mentioned that, you know, people come and travel here and look around and then they go, hey, maybe we should go live there. You know, we got nice look. My friend calls it the southwestern Ontario Riviera where we live. Right. You know. And uh, there is a lot around here. And congratulations again to you. And I know, I know, uh, like Rob Hardwood and and all the, all of the team. Like it's a long list for the success of Tall Ships because that uh, just just turned out fantastic. I was really fortunate to be up and close to that, and it was just uh, a lot of happy people going around enjoying that. And uh, I wish they didn't call this a mat tax. I would I wish they'd have called it MAB M A B um, <laughs> Municipal Accommodation Benefit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, the word tax definitely, you know, even when, when talking about it and, and uh, any of the proposals, it, it makes it a lot more challenging with that word. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, even even a, a user based uh, fee or something like that. And uh, I mean, what's funny is actually in doing the process, there's there was some places that already were, were kind of charging this fee already on top. So, I mean, yeah. in some cases, it's not you know, essentially that new and that different. And I, I, you know, it's, it's funny hearing some feedback and saying, well, at the end of the day, you're, you're not talking a lot. You're talking on average, you're going to be four or $5 a night. Um, well, yeah, it's 4%, right? So if it's a hundred bucks, it's four bucks. It is right. So it's, uh, you know, to say that, Hey, it's going to drive away tourism. I, I, Michigan has 5% plus exchange rate and uh, plus bridge fares. And, uh, you know, just from the research we've done, we, we don't see that happening. We, we see that uh, this is going to level the playing field. Plus, this is going to give us the opportunity to really look at what we can bring to the area to, uh, to keep moving forward. And like I said, it's, it's all about how do, we, how do we grow the businesses in Lambton County and, and doing it for the businesses, which then in turn, you know, it's, it's for the employees and our residents and how just everyone can benefit in a positive manner from, uh, from having this uh, opportunity with the mat put in place. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm with you on it. I I, I think it's fantastic, and uh, and congratulations to you for uh, for taking the lead on 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 bringing it around here. And 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 again, I think like and you mentioned earlier, like those that are upset in the beginning, once they have an understanding of what it's really about, seems to uh, to help things out. Is there a, can people give you a call if they've got any questions about that? Yeah, absolutely. I'm available here at Tourism Sarnia Lambton. Uh, they can call or email and. Uh... Even I've set up a, a couple meetings where just people, same thing, have questions about it. Um, but one nice thing, and working with the Ontario Hotels and Motels Association, they're the actual collectors and administrators of this program. And they've uh, put on a sem seminar in uh, uh, Point Edward to answer questions that any of the hotel operators okay. have. 
um, even at a municipality, any of their um, questions. We're going to be doing the same in Sarnia. So, you know, if people are really wondering how this works and how it all comes together, we're happy to uh, invite people to these uh, little seminars that we're doing to uh, let people understand. And, you know, I would say for the most part, once people understand it, they, they get it. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're not trying to tax any of our local citizens and, you know, create things that are, are different. We're actually trying to really help this area and, and help it grow and improve and not by, you know, going in, in pockets of, of having a tax for any, any local right reason so um you know hopefully it actually works the opposite where the uh you know the city of sarnia or city or village of point edward you know they they look and say hey we don't have to uh look for more more revenues for certain things we can pull it from this fund and make this a really win-win opportunity for everyone yeah fantastic mark uh, i'll let you go i know you, you had a busy day there and and uh, i appreciate you taking the time to uh, get on here and explain a little bit uh, more about this. And I know we'll be talking some more too, because uh, uh, we want to keep spreading the positive message about what this is and uh, looking forward to, of course, now, of course, you're on the hook now because you, you, you got to bring some great things to Sarnia now, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's uh, it's a double-edged sword, right? It's all this work to get this up and running. And then, you know, the next part is, okay, we got it up and running in two municipalities, uh, hopefully Lampton Shores so we can uh, get them to uh, to come on board as well here in the next uh, next few uh, weeks and then we're uh, we're going to keep going we're, we're, you know eventually we hope everyone in the, the county can come on board and it's it's a lot easier to uh, to work with everyone together than than anyone apart so hopefully that works and then uh, yeah we're really once the revenue you know we gotta we gotta start planning for it and and see what the opportunities are for 2020 2021 and and really uh go out there and make sure things are happening with it where people see the results and then we can make sure we can uh say and this is exactly from the map funds that we're doing these kind of things and yeah results to the public 